This is Mitch and James from Gamefront, and we're doing a walkthrough of Dark Souls. You said it with lip, <laughs> lip syncing it. Yeah. That sounds pretty clever. Not not your usual opening. Yeah. So we fought. I try to keep it, uh, mix it up a little. We fought a, a giant wolf that was wielding a sword in its mouth. Yeah. And. It was pretty of, awesome. It was pretty awesome. I did an okay job. I should have killed him on my first try, but second time, second time's a charm, as I've heard. Uh, or second time's a charm. Second time's a charm. Oh, wait, I said it right that time. I <laughs> said it backwards. Uh. I, I have some serious worries for this wolf. Uh, first off, he's probably going to die. But no matter what happens to him. He's going to have some bad teeth problems if he's swinging a sword that big in his mouth. You never played uh, Ninja Gaiden 2, right? No, I've never played any Ninja Gaiden. Ninja except for the first one. Ninja Gaiden on 2 NES. on NES. Ninja Gaiden 2 has like these little dog enemies that, you know, they, ha they have the sword, and they also throw kunais at you with their, in their mouths. What is a kunai? Kunai is a little uh, throwing knife that Japanese ninjas use and stuff. Not not like shurikens, the ninja stars. They're just little knives. So the throwing knives. Yeah, but they're different. How so? They like throwing knives. You know, have like a handle and stuff like that. Kunai's just have like a little circular thing at the end. And you kind of spin them around your finger. Yeah. Yeah. I could use. I, mean, I don't know if. The, the hole is for spinning around your, uh, sure. your finger. I think it's so you can string something through it. But. <laughs> You're being super cautious there now, aren't you? Of course I am. The last time I forgot about it. <laughs> and I, I mean, I haven't died there. Because uh, I've been, I guess, lucky. I'm not going to say skillful. Yeah. Is this the faster way to? Uh, there's one faster way, and that's through the, the door uh, that is locked right now. In order to unlock it, you have to go back to the blacksmith, farm up 20,000 souls, get the crest, go back... Or kill the blacksmith. No, the blacksmith won't give you that crest. I, I thought somebody said kill the blacksmith. Maybe, but why would you want to? Mm, I don't know. 20,000... What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. You're like in that movie with Mark Wahlberg, the M. Night Shyamalan movie, where everyone suddenly gets the urge to commit suicide. I haven't seen that movie. <laughs> Talk about the, the that happening? I think the happening? Oh, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen a lot of movies. Just go down the ramp. But I've seen Just a lot. Go down the ramp. Stop taking your what little bit ramp? of damage. That ramp. I didn't know. The mushroom man's coming for me. <laughs> Do you know Mushroom Man, Mushroom Man, Mushroom Man, do you know I did pretty good against him last time. I'd be dang surprised if I didn't win this time. Why, why do you have hidden body? What do you think? It's to go with Oral Decoy. Oh, he's ready for me already! No cutscene! Why are you using... <laughs> no cutscene? There you go. No, there's no cutscene the second time. Oh, that spin mood's gonna get you. You can't block that spin mood. I mean, oh, this is bull. All right, you're good. No, I'm barely. Just when you good. see that that spin move, move back while you're while you're blocking, like that. You see, okay, that's not the spin move. Never mind. There it is. So when he does the spin move, he's gonna go to his right, and then he's gonna spin around. No, why are you using the heavy magic Solero? That was a mistake, bitch. Two, and here comes the third. You don't have oh. enough to block that third one. God! Look at it! Back up, back up! It, there's no, it, like, if you... If you can step back, you don't need to just stand there and take the, uh... Well, then, if I the step attack. back, Mitch, then I'm not going to be close enough to him to attack. Oh. No! You're good. This whole battle has been about me taking Estus Flasks. <laughs> get, get some attacks. Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? I can do this all day! What are you doing? Get your sword out. Hold on. 
Why? <laughs> no! He didn't fall for it! He didn't fall for it. <sighs> One. Two. Okay. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna be a little bit more aggressive here. I've got two Estus Flasks left. Did you need your souls, by the way? Oh, that's a good idea. Is there any, like, ledges that I'm gonna fall off of? No, I don't think so. Oh, you're dead. Fuck! <laughs> ah! 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 Sorry, Zach's chair. Is this sex chair? <laughs> no, 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 sex chair doesn't have arms. Oh. God, that was really frustrating. It was so much more frustrating the first time because every time... It doesn't matter. I'm going to get all the hate from the internet. <laughs> every single... You don't get hit! Hit the guy! Oh, I, I forgot. Sorry. Uh, Sorry, Mitch. It's okay, James. We'll get it. No, I'm late! Right. That was the first time I've died since last week. <sighs> that was the worst... Battle ever. I felt like I was trapped. You're, 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 you're do. standing still too much. You're just kind of standing there waiting for him to attack. Waiting for him to That's attack. That's not the first time. You gotta, you gotta recognize what attacks he's using and get in there when you, when you see an opening. You're just I mean, kind of standing there with your shield, not knowing when you are attack. giving the contradictory tips. You're saying, yeah. you gotta keep moving back. You gotta get in there. Yeah. You gotta, 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 I'm saying if you're already just, if you're just gonna stand there and lock, you might as well just stand, get back and, you know, not take the stamina damage. Do you take less stamina damage if you are further back away from? Because I felt like when he was just barely hitting me with the tip of the sword, I wasn't losing as much stamina as when I went next to him to destroy him. The only, the only real uh, thing that you have to watch out for with Sip is his spin attack. That one will hit you through your block, no matter how much uh, stamina you have at the start of it. The good news is that if you block the first hit, uh, it's not gonna, it's still deal without that much damage. So it's not gonna like instantly kill you or anything. Okay. Can it's I have both Iron Flesh and Hidden Body on? What? Can I use Iron Flesh and Hidden Body? I don't think you want to use Iron Flesh. You want to stay, you want to stay uh, mobile on this. Well, not, not if, not if he doesn't use, see you. Use, don't use Hidden Body, please! Don't use Hidden Body. Don't even know work yet. I, I think I'm pretty sure it's... No! No! You have one advantage on me. I didn't fall off the same spot you did. <laughs> this is freaking bullshit. There. Well, technically you have another advantage on me. You got that, uh, that item from the archers that I didn't get. The coveted item that everybody yeah. says if you don't get it, your walkthrough isn't worth a dime. <laughs> Wrong way. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So help me God, if this is the wrong way. Alright, you win. <laughs> <clears throat> if you run hard enough, you'll tell me to get through that wall. Don't make fun. <laughs> <sighs> so, so dangerous. Did you do anything this weekend? Huh? I went to, uh, I, I celebrated my friend's birthday. It was her 25th birthday. Went to, uh, we, went, we went to Hollywood. Uh, had some drinks at an Irish pub. Oh, what a pub? Uh, Dillion's or Dillion's? I've been there. That's right by the Improv Olympic. Yeah, it's by the I.O. They yeah. have great specials and stuff. Though. It's $3 draft beer. That, I time. guess it's not really special. <laughs> I mean, it's all the time. Yeah. This is cool. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, they had... You didn't go to the Improv Olympic? No. It wasn't my decision. <laughs> Was there something going on there this weekend? I honestly don't You missed the ladder. Oops, you got me talking to Pope. I, I, I honestly don't get to the I.O. very often. Uh, because I was performing for a second. Yeah, you did a good show. Tonight, Lorraine Lewis did the most second comedy theater. Do you know who she is? No. No, it's because you're too young. She was one of the, uh, I believe the original female cast members of Saturday Night Live. Is it? Look at that golem who's climbing up the ladder. <laughs> I think he was. No, he was just running up the ladder, hoping that he would come down to him. Now, do you think if I walked off the edge of this, I could just, like, give the best killing blow from above? It would be pretty amazing. I don't think he'd survive the fall, though. Oh, what a slap in the face this sword thing is. Oh, let's rush and get my souls back. Uh, zero. <laughs> How did that happen, anyways? I must, I didn't even pause because. What were we talking about? Iron Flesh and Hidden Body. Yeah. Iron Flesh. Another, another way those two spells killed you. Another way. Because Hidden Body has not even been used yet. They used it at the first, uh, first time you fought Sif, and that was, or the second time you fought Sif. And I didn't that was, use it. I used Oral Dutra. No, you used Hidden Body at the, at the very start. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Well, we'll have to see. We'll have to check the video. Might go the right way. You have to go left. You're about to walk off the edge again. No, I didn't use it. That's really hard to make. 
uh, I, I had it out, and then I decided, I didn't know what was going to happen if I used it before the front door, so, and then I think I switched it to something wrong. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. That will be vindicated. I'm vindicated? Sure. Is that not the right word to use? I don't think so. <laughs> Are you using it right now? See, Mitch. Let's see what it does. I have a feeling it's going to do a whole lot of nothing. Especially if I walk through here all the It's doing a whole lot of nothing. Oh, <laughs> son of a bitch! Run! Woo! Thirteen minutes. Okay. I don't know what to say. What to say? That wasn't Hello. a good example of it. Don't use hidden body! He knew I was coming through that doorway. <laughs> if I could have gotten away from the doorway. Oh. It's gotta be right. I don't think so. It is. Oh, you're right. Yeah. I mean, I think that it was just the fact that the fog disappeared. And he's like, well, I know better than to think that the fog disappears for just a breeze. That's James Heaney, and he's coming through my door again. <laughs> now, if I would just go in there, use the hidden body, once the, the battle's begun, then he'll be like, oh, I killed him, he's gone. And he suspects it. Sword up the eight hole. You're not really going to use hidden body again, are you? No. <laughs> Maybe. You're not going to use iron flesh either, are you? Listen, I haven't even tested that against <laughs> Once you get those 20,000 souls, I'll knock that door. I mean, yeah, absolutely. I guess I could have probably had it by now if I just farmed one at a time after I kept my other souls. I would have had 20,000 souls. Or you could use your, uh, your souls that you. Yeah, I probably got enough stored up in those, those things. I barely ever use them. But then you have to go all the way back to the back. Mm, true. But somebody said it would take two or three minutes. Yeah. I don't know if they've been watching my walkthroughs, but nothing <laughs> said it would ever take two or three minutes. Two or three minutes just to get to here. I got it this time, Mitch. There's been some time. unfortunate events that I mistakenly forgot I had iron flesh. Yeah, you heard it. Oh, yeah. Iron flesh coming up now. So, you are going to use iron flesh on him? Yes. Yes, I am. Alright. It's going to say, James. It's going to be awesome. You know, maybe, maybe. Uh, honestly, I don't know. If it was uh, pre patch, why do you always go that way? <laughs> if it was pre patch iron flesh, I would say it's probably a good strategy. Um, the thing is, Sif likes to jump around a lot, so... But I feel like my best bet is to not follow him and let him come to me. Alright. Sif also has a pretty good range. It's fine with me. I've got good range, too. Well, let's see how it works. This doesn't do anything. What are you doing, James? I thought... It's blue, so I thought it was... <laughs> Probably should have done that a little closer to the fog door. Right! I'm fine. Alright, here he comes. Once again, you're just standing. Yeah, you're close. See? See? That did great. You gotta get close, James. I'm waiting for him. He's not gonna get close to you. Why? That didn't last very long at all. Oh. Heal up. I'm trying. Look at that. Look at that. Son of a bitch. Alright, this is fine. Oh. Back. Okay, go up. So you understand his, I mean, he's used pretty much all of his attacks so far. And you understand the back. There you go. Third hit is going up and then vertical slash. He's probably sidestepping. Oh. If you want to go the, the heavy solar route, I mean, I think that might be a, a good option for you. You just gotta stay away. Would you put this into high speed? The whole thing until now. Give me one more chance. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of Hidden Body. I'm gonna get rid of a lot of things. Alright? You gotta do, I think you gotta decide. You wanna take him out using magic or you wanna take him out using your sword? You can't go between the two because it's just it's confusing you and you're you're not being efficient. Well <laughs> Tell me. You know, okay. uh, I'm gonna go in between the both. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna mostly use physical. But when, when an opportunity arises, I'm going to use magical. 
I feel like you, you said when the opportunity arises, but I feel like one of your biggest problems is that you can't find the right opportunities to use magic. Well, now I know how to work it. Because you have to realize that Heavy Solar has a huge cooldown time. So even if he's really far away, he's really fast, so he gets in there. And if he gets hit, he's going to hit you while you're still recovering from the move. So what are you saying? You're, you just kept on saying, saying that choose one or the other. Now you're saying that I'm saying, doesn't work anyways. No, I'm saying you have to know the right time to use it. So uh, if you want to use a magic, I'd say the best time to use it is when you avoid getting hit by a spinning attack. As soon as you, you're, you get out of the range of the spinning attack, uh, queue it up, and then you'll get that one hit, and you just got to keep on going for that one hit. Okay, that sounds good. So whenever he's doing the spinning attack, then I do that. Yeah. But I can use regular solar and get him away for a while, right? I guess, yeah. Because that's got fast speed. Yeah. And fireball has some But I don't, think, I don't think that does damage to be significant. Probably right about that. We might even cut out some of these cherry Yeah, I probably will. Great, you want to turn left when you get past these trees. Yeah. Alright, this is the one. This is the one. This is the one where James beats his damn doggy. Get a couple hits in here. I can't see. There's seven of them. Oh! Wait. I don't think you have any soul. Oh, I'm not going for soul. Oh, no! Oh, this is not the one. Oh, yeah, damn it. It's came so much. <laughs> oh, maybe tomorrow, James. Okay. That's why I end the video like this. I'm borderline crying. And I want to go. James, uh, James will be fine. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.